Boys and girls, it's time. This is not even a real pipe. It has no hole on either side. I uh, don't know why I bought this. It's absolutely useless. Useless. This is not even a real pipe. It has no hole on either side. Useless. Um, anyways, welcome. Stop. Stop it. This is the troublemaker. The most adorable troublemaker. I need you to leave the room while I record. So I'm gonna shut the door. And I'm sorry, I don't hate you, I promise. Welcome to another haul video. And as always, we'll start this off with different sections. And the first section that I'm going to do is toys. The lighting is gonna be a little weird for this video only because it's at night. And I really don't have good lighting. I have this newer light. It's N-E-E-W-E-R, whatever brand. It's okay. I got some new ones coming. Those are gonna be a lot better. So I'll be able to use those later. But let's start. To begin, I got these two lunch boxes. Got a Back to the Future lunch box. S box and then I got this Winnie the Pooh lunchbox super cool the Winnie the Pooh lunchbox is unknown year because Disney doesn't put years on like 90% of the stuff they make and this one is from this year just a reprint then we have a magic school bus rock tumbler refill kit which is cool because you don't see that many magic school bus stuff and it's by Kenner the same people who brought you the old Star Wars and a lot of really cool toys and then we found this Harry Potter Quidditch set super cool look at that wow wow the lighting is fucking terrible after that we got another Another Pokemon Monopoly. I've been finding tons of this. I found the Johto. I found the original one. I found the Master Set. I got the Sorry Set right over there. Then we got a, a Mandalorian Blaster. And then another Minecraft pickaxe. Choo -choo. Turns into a sword so you can uh, slash those zombies, dude. But then also do a little picking, a little nose picking. Okay, I just moved the camera. Not sure if the lighting's any better. Probably not any better, but it does seem more like daylight in here. Although I probably look white as hell. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Anyways, Mad Balls. You don't see many Mad Balls, man. Get alone, stickers. Mad Ball stickers, what? What is that? So cool. These aren't worth anything. So I'm gonna open them, see what we got. Oh, these are from Sonic, dude. Look at that, it says smell me. Probably not something I should smell. Look at that, oh, oh. Oh, look at that, it's a gorilla. Madball Gorilla Boy. All right, that pack was absolutely not worth opening. Oh, what do you know? It's the same shit. Hey, you know, for a kid's toy, that's pretty cool. I would like cool stickers like this, but repeats, no bueno. They should have made like 50 of those and then made it random, but you know, Kids have short attention spans, so no big deal. Found a deck of Batman cards. Uh, they're in this like little plastic film, so I'm not really sure what that's about. Let's open it, because they're not new. I guess somebody was just collecting. This might be the whole set. Oh yeah, look at that, it's an order. 290, 291, 92, 93, 4, 5. This actually might be the full set, bucko. Woo! That's pretty cool. I'll go through those and make sure those are complete. If so, that, that's a good little pickup. Then we picked up Scarecrow, and then we got this Jurassic World figure, it like winds up or whatever. I always pick up Jurassic Park stuff because they're just, they're easy to bundle. So, eh, it's, it's easy. And then I got these like Jurassic Park battle things. And this thing right here, look, I'm... They're very sensitive. Yeah, this one is um, Spino versus T-Rex battle games. I just picked it up because I saw the old logo Jurassic Park 3 on there, so why not? Then in this little handful of stuff, I got a little ocarina. That's super cool. Uh, I did wash this off, so I'm about to play all some badass shit in a second. This Pokemon flashlight, which it, it kind of upsets me a little because it's flat right here. That's where it's supposed to sit, but the top is supposed to be red and the bottom is supposed to be white. So if it's like this, it just rolls over onto the bottom half, which doesn't make sense to me. But it's also something I've never seen before. Uh, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Then we got this Power Ranger dinosaur from like 2007. Not really sure what this is from. Then we got a Jurassic Park 1997 Lost World Thermos. Super cool. Could not find the lunchbox. I'm pretty sure somebody else grabbed that. And you're probably going to hear that dinosaur thing going off all day because that thing is loud as hell. And then for the very last item, it's going to be a Buddy L Semi. 
Uh, I actually have the cargo freight, the container that goes on the back of it. I found that a long time ago at another bin. So maybe they went together and they are finally meeting each other again. Oh, I almost tripped and died. Alrighty, time for plushes. Plushes are awesome. Everybody needs plushes. Not really, I don't need plushes but everybody need pluses. Your grandma, your grandma's dad, your grandma's dad's dad, your grandma's dad's dad's dad, your grandma's friend, your grandma's secretary, and your grandma, they all need plushies. So why not pick them up? I know I pick them up. So check this out. Harry Potter Owl, Gremlins, Jeremy Fisher with tag, Choco Cat, 2010. We got a Tower of Terror Goofy Beanbag plush with the tag. That's super cool. I have not seen Tower of Terror. I'm not sure if that's a movie or a ride or... I'm not sure I'll have to look into that. And then we have a 1981 Gar Garfield Sriracha. Uh, Sir we have a 1981 Garfield Safari plush. And he still has his jacket on. All the ones that I found on eBay, they don't have their jackets on them. Then we got this tagged giant Eeyore. This is a beaut. He's a big boy, big plush. And then we got the plush grail of the day. His name is Foofer and he uh, he's a little a little droopy. His neck is a little um, disconnected, but this is super, super rare when it comes to plushes. And a lot of stuff that comes from AM Gifts, I think? AR Gifts, AM Gifts, I'm not really sure. It's a company that makes these weird little comic plushes and they're always really hard to find. Now I'm gonna pick y'all up. I got this big old pile of Monster High dolls. I'm not really sure if they're worth anything, but I'm gonna go through them. It was just an easy grab. It was in a bag and it didn't weigh much. So I picked those up. And then I got these really cool cassettes over here. We got Nirvana Bleach, Dirty Dancing. Stone Temple Pilots. We got a Godzilla Super 8 film that is in there. A little unwound right there. And then we got this wacky Black Cats vinyl. Look at that. It reminds me of Beetlejuice. Then we got the basic just resell stuff. Just, you know, cannon fudder. You pick it up all the time. It sells fast, whatever. But out of this, Look at that, it's a 1970 like mirror comic book thing. Ooh, look, there's me. I thought this was super cool. Not something I'm gonna put on my wall, but I know somebody else will. Do you remember these? If you're my age, I know you did. And I know your mom spent way too much damn money on these and they were not worth it. All of these things. You could have just found most of this stuff in those little animal encyclopedias in the library. But no, we paid way too much for these little pieces of paper. But not gonna lie, they're pretty damn cool. Now your child can visit steamy jungles, grassy plains, and the dark depths of the ocean to meet and learn surprising facts about the magnificent animals that live there, all through the captivating, colorful pages of Zoo Books. The publication is specially created for young readers. Each monthly issue of Zoo Books is packed with breathtaking full-color photos and scientifically accurate illustrations, plus games and puzzles. Today, through this exclusive TV offer, you can get 12 fascinating issues of Zoo Books for the special price of $19.95. When you call and use your credit card, we'll include the elephant's issue as a gift. Plus, you'll also get the colorful collection of animal stickers and the tiger poster. So order Zoo Books today and send learning and fun to a child you love. Oh, I almost forgot one thing. Well, one really big thing. All these damn Polly Pockets and Pound Puppies. And look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. All the little things that always get lost, these little Polly Pocket guys. Jeez, I found a ton of them. Uh, I've had to buy them off of different people because um, a lot of people picked them up as they were going through. And then over here, I did, man, sorry, this place looks like a mess. I I'm, I'm doing a, a lot of work. So a lot of stuff is a little unorganized right now. Ooh, I'm not sure if you guys like comics, but I do. I've never been a comic buyer or a comic collector, but I've always liked the idea of them. So I'm gonna go through these and uh, see if this brings back any memories for you guys. We got a Scooby-Doo comic, and then we got this stack of Captain Carrot comics. Really don't know who that is. Got a few of those here. We got a nice healthy stack of Iron Man, vintage Iron Man comics, Edge of Chaos. Got a few of those. Got a bunch of the Defenders, ton of the Defenders. Then we got a bunch of random new comics, it looks like. Science Fiction, Tarzan, Union, Harbinger, Rune, The Visitor. Then we got some older ones like Psycho Blast, whatever that is. Number nine, Twilight Zone, 1988. We got a bunch of Star Brand, a lot of Star Brand. We got Jack of Hearts, one and two. Uh, Fantastic and Four, yeah, foot? Fantastic Four Annual, 18. Got some Hot Spur, just some really random ones in here. We got like the Hulk. We got the Thing, number four. That's pretty cool. 
And that's pretty much it for the comics. It's just, uh, I, I wanted to do a general look on that. If anybody's interested in these or wants me to kind of take a, a better look with them, uh, just message me on my Instagram and I, we can go through them together and see if you want to buy any. Now my favorite part of the bins, which are clothes, which is strange because I'm the toy guy. I'm the toy, the collectibles, the weird goofy stuff guy. And now that I do clothes, I'm starting to appreciate and, and like really love it. And this round was absolutely Absolutely batshit crazy. Speaking of which, the shirt that I'm wearing is a holy grail when it comes to Betty Boop merchandise. And it's a it's a really big part of vintage history. And I've been hearing a lot of different stuff about it as I've been doing this and it just makes you appreciate clothes more, which I know a lot of people that follow my channel are either resellers trying to learn, uh, old collectors that like old stuff, like toys and whatnot. And I know I don't have a lot of clothing people, but I would definitely like a lot of people who like clothing to follow me because I'm gonna keep showing clothes and I'm gonna keep putting this stuff out here. I mean, I, I have a huge stack of them right there. So uh, let's get into it, man. We got this chopped Enron shirt. By the way, stop the chop, dude. Quit cutting your sleeves off. That ain't cool, unless you want to, and I don't judge you regardless, I guess. But check this out, Enron T. You don't know about Enron, you really need to look it up. Enron is one of those companies that made big bad boo-boos. Did a lot of bad, stupid shit. They paid the piper. Then we got this liquid blue 1993 single stitch signs shirt. Absolutely sick. Look at that. Ooh, very sexy. This is my first liquid blue shirt and it has like uh, the Taurus. It has uh, Laren, Draco, Boot, I think that's his name. I don't know. This is like sign. This is like the, the people who put stones in their pockets and, and uh, shop at Earthbound uh, kind of thing going on here. But I absolutely love this. We got a single stitch Texas lottery t-shirt. This one's pretty cool. It's basic, but it's cool. It's got history. Here we got a custom tie-dye single stitch on the vintage Hanes tag. And look at this tie-dye work, man. Somebody really put love into that to make a freaking peace sign. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm thinking this is tie-dyed, like, or it might be printed like this, I don't know. Cause I, I, you would think that the tag would accidentally get tie-dyed too if it was tie-dyed. I don't know, it's just, it's super sick, look at that. We got this sick PlayStation uh, hoodie. I actually have this hoodie in yellow. Then we got this freaking Machino Looney Tunes tee. It's got a huge tag. So we got Porky on the front. Then we got Wiley on the back with his Ghetto Blaster. Dude, super sick. Then we got another cool grail. It's a 1996 Frasier t-shirt. Look at that. Woo! That is super clean. Then we got another banger here. Look at that. 1993. Notre Dame Fighting Irish has super, super cool. It's on a savvy tag. XL, 1993, Looney Tunes. And then I bought this off of one of my buddies at the bins. It's a uh, Blizzard World of Warcraft t-shirt on the Jinx tag. This is super cool. I can see a, uh, a Dark Knight. I think, I, I can't remember, I think those are Dark Knights, which means this is probably a, a Burning Crusade uh, era shirt. Then we got this vintage Y2K Dragon t-shirt. This is super cool on an X-ray tag. Never seen that either. It's got an awesome back hit too. I, uh, I'm definitely gonna keep this one. Then we got an actual Y2K tag, see Y2K 2000. And it's a, an AIM shirt, which is crazy. AIM Messenger. That is super, super sick. I, I really didn't even notice that until just now. Then we got a Keith Haring reprint t-shirt. That's super cool. Oh man, I almost forgot about this thing, man. 1998 Rockstar t-shirt. Absolutely sick. Look at that. Woo! Uh, but yeah, man, that's it for today. We did good on clothes. We did good on toys. We did good on video games. I mean, uh-oh. We did good on video games. I forgot to show you the video games. Actually, it doesn't really matter. I did get pretty good games, but the only heavy hitters were uh, Super Mario Sunshine and Wii Sports. I did good on those too, but hey, I got them here. At least I I'm showing you them. It's complete, so that's super cool. Anyways, yeah, like if you liked it, dislike if you dislike it. Please leave a comment if you are watching the video and you got to this point. Just tell me what you thought. Tell me if you don't like these videos. Tell me if you do like these videos. Every single comment, complaint, suggestion, whatever, it all helps. Regardless, I'm still gonna make these videos because I love to make these videos and I have to fill the void with where my old bins recordings used to be. I'm still gonna do garage sales, thrift stores when I can, but this will be the main, the main course. But yeah, take it easy.